Brand India Pharma made its presence felt at CPHL Worldwide 2014. The largest global pharmaceutical exhibition event of the year. With a 360 degree strategy, IBEF, in collaboration with PharmaXL, has been leading the Brand India Pharma campaign since its launch in March 2012 under the aegis of the Department of Commerce. The Indian presence at CPHL Worldwide 2014 was led by Mr. Rajiv Kher, Commerce Secretary, Government of India, who was accompanied by senior officials of the Department of Commerce, the Drugs Controller General of India, Dr. G.N. Singh, State Drugs Controllers, representatives from Pharmaxel, CEO, IBEF, and a large contingent of Indian business leaders from the industry. The Brand India Pharma made an impacting presence at the Pre-Connect Congress, where speakers Mr. Sudhan Shupande from the Department of Commerce, Dr. Appaji from Pharmaxil shared perspectives on key topics related to the pharma industry, including a comparative analysis of the Chinese, Indian and Brazilian API sourcing markets, strategic alliances and partnering, changing outsourcing strategies and the future of healthcare business models. Brand India Pharma aimed to showcase the strengths of the Indian pharmaceutical industry by positioning India as a responsible healthcare provider. This was represented through a strategic mix of branding elements such as on-ground branding, media outreach, participation in business seminars and industry interactions. Around 230 Indian companies participated this year, putting up one of the largest showcases of the Indian pharma industry. Indian companies have adopted the RX India Responsible Healthcare in their pavilions, making it a consolidated effort from India to spread awareness about the strengths of the Indian pharmaceutical industry. The Indian pharmaceutical industry stands with the full support of the Government of India. For instance, our increasing participation at global exhibitions like CPHL Worldwide demonstrates the commitment of the sector, said Mr. Rajiv Kher. First of all, let me tell you that regulatory concern is, is something which is a work in progress and therefore our continuous effort is to continue to improve our processes, uh, regulatory processes, thereby to facilitate the industry and at the same time maintain a very strong control over the quality of medicines that go out of India. And uh, this year, <clears throat> we are very soon proposing to come out with some modifications in the clinical trial rules. Now that will clearly change the perspective on uh, the manner in which clinical trials are conducted in India and clearly encourage more and more of industry to come and use India as the basis for uh, conducting cl clinical trials. So that will improve the research base of India's pharmaceutical industry. Potential uh, is in lifestyle related drugs, in cardiovascular drugs, in anti-cancer drugs, into a whole lot of public health related uh, objectives uh, and more importantly now we are beginning to work on biosimilars and that is perhaps going to engage a lot of our attention. A significant uh, market has evolved in the emerging countries and developing countries. Now about 20% of our product goes to Africa, CIS, Russia, Japan, China and uh, Southeast Asia and West Asia. And uh, we have been uh, focusing both in our policies and in the promotional efforts that we are putting in that more and more industry goes into these areas. And uh, the idea is to expand the cake and also to deepen our presence in markets which are growing very fast, for example, Africa. Brand India seems to have uh, come to be very sustainable and uh, we will continue to expand it. We will continue to give more attention to the learnings from events like this. The whole idea is to make Brand India an assurance for affordable, good quality medicine. Gel around that Brand India and develop a uniform identity for the Indian medicines. We have been use, using this opportunity very, uh, with a, with, in a very rewarding manner. Uh, the, the manner in which uh, the global pharma is represented here is clearly an indication that it is, uh, it is uh, uh, providing a platform to the global pharma industry in a very, very potentially rewarding manner.
There are around 5 Indian companies in the list of top 20 global generic companies. Indian companies are looking at making healthcare accessible and affordable for the global population, said Mr. Sudhan Shupande. Intellect, knowledge-driven industry. It's an industry which, which is based on research and the scientific knowledge. In fact, the French regulator is very keen to have memorandum of understanding with the Indian regulator and the talks are going on and we hope that uh, the understanding document will be finalized very soon. So this is recognition of India's strength in the pharmaceutical sector. Anywhere between 15 to 20 percent growth of pharma exports on year-on-year -year basis is something which is achievable. 230 Indian companies participating in the CPHI worldwide. About 18 years ago, they came with five square meters and today they have taken 100 square meters of space. So that is the growth uh, Indian companies are looking at. Uh, is undergoing change, some new regulations are coming. It's very important for the pharma industry to keep pace uh, with the changes. Uh, I'm saying uh, our, our focus is that we grow from 15 to 20 percent uh, growth. And if that is not truly manifested in the space, this is one of the most expansive showcases from the Indian pharmaceutical industry at CPHL Worldwide. We are confident that the focused activities will deliver a marked improvement in the awareness levels of the global industry, said Mrs. Aparna Dat Sharma. India Brand Equity Foundation is a trust of the Department of Commerce, Government of India. It's a unique enterprise which has been set up by the Ministry of Commerce to promote the Made in India label. That a platform has been created by India Brand Equity Foundation to be able to solidly communicate the robust growth of the pharmaceutical sector and also demonstrate the different aspects about the brand or the value proposition that the Indian pharmaceutical industry represents. Because I think the Indian pharmaceutical players themselves have been the best brand ambassadors that the Indian pharma industry represents both in quality and in terms of offering sustainable solutions for affordable healthcare. We felt that there was a lot of, uh, the perception lacked reality. There were a lot of communication about brand pharma. Not all of it was correct. And we realized the necessity to first create a consistent consistency in communication to be able to highlight that Indian pharmaceutical industry stands for quality. Uh, what is it that guarantees that quality? How is it that it is also keeping pace with the latest regulatory, regulatory mechanisms and the latest in technologies? So one aspect was to demonstrate that part. The second part obviously was also to report the, uh, the government's perspective on the measures being taken by them to be able to ensure quality standards within the Indian pharma industry. We have now reached a stage where people understand the basic value proposition and they would like to know more on how individual partnerships can be worked out between countries and what is that intrinsic proposition that beyond generics India brings to the table.